Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I have this tire changer sent to me by Unit. And Unit is a company of Dirt Freak. It's kind of, they have Dirt Freak. Dirt Freak has um, like Zeta, you know, Zeta Handguard and stuff. They also have DRC. Unit is one of the companies. It's a Dirt Freak company. So what we have is the tire portable tire changer for motorcycle tires. I also have an optional bead breaker that you can get to break your bead down and an optional uh, ring that goes on there to kind of stabilize your your wheel and tire when you got it on the machine. You don't have to use it, you can use just this and break your tire down normal. You don't have to have these two, but it's just the other options that you have. You'll see when I get it out of the box, so let's just go ahead and unbox this stuff and we can look at it. Okay, the way it comes is it's bolted together and you unbolt these and fold the legs out at an angle to where they go and then put the bolts back in. So we need to remove these. Alright, after you take the bolts out of this on the legs, you're going to want to flip this over. Same bolts to go right back in here to mount it back. They had it uh, made it compact for shipping. this on all three legs just like that. After you got it bolted together, you want to use these top two holes to bolt. Then you can actually remove the bottom bolts. You can hold this thing up, just throw it away somewhere. But I'll probably leave mine set up. Okay, this is a tool holder that will bolt on. tire tools. And it goes in a couple of lower legs of the lower holes of the legs.
Okay, here is the unit tire machine assembled. Then we have this part there that holds your wheels, slide it down. A little spin nut that goes in here, bolt it. You can lock that on. Then you slide your wheel down with this. Now, the, the bead breaker, which is optional, will go together like so. Handle just bolts onto here. Then you slide this piece on that goes over here. And you get some wing nuts so you can do the adjustments however you need them. So this part you will slide on here, like this. For the bead breaker. So all the way down where it will set plumb down on there. And you can see our arm here raises up to break the bead. And I believe this thing will take a wheel here with a shaft 15 millimeter or larger. Now, if I remove this, because I want to put on the ring, the optional ring that you can get, the ring comes with a different shaft. And it's actually a smaller diameter than this one by quite a bit. So, and it don't have this taper on it, which it wouldn't need because you're sitting it on the ring itself. So we'll take this back off. Pull this out. Now we put this in and it comes with this ring. Set it on there like so. And on this one we can put our locking bolt back in here. We can hang on to it. So we're going to use the ring and the bead breaker. Let's try this. Set that on. So the bead breaker down on this. We'll set the ring down on here. Now we got the ring on and the bead breaker, which we'll use the bead breaker because of this being higher, you can adjust these wing nuts here, loosen them, get this at a bigger height so it reach your tire for breaking the bead. Like so. Okay, when I'm not using this ring, I can use this larger shaft. And with the larger shaft, I have this tool here that comes with it. And you can adjust this down either on your brake rotor or your rim. And you can spin your wheel and see how out of round it is. So it would be nice for uh, tightening your spokes and making your wheel straight. By this, you can adjust it up and down. You can adjust it, uh, slide it out for a bigger wheel, smaller wheel, or if you're running it down on your disc brake. So that would be a pretty nice tool to have. And it fits this shaft. It will not fit the shaft that comes with the ring. It's a too small a shaft. I do wish the ring had the same size shaft as this. And you also have this tool here, which don't work on this shaft. And that's so, you know, this on there, you slide your wheel on. And this taper fits in the wheel, makes your wheel fit solid. So it's not going to wobble to it. This will be right down inside your where your bearing is and hold it. So then you can actually still put this on the top. And your wheel will be solid, turn it on your bearing and keep it nice and level. So I do wish that the ring, the shaft to fit it, was this size. I don't know if they make one like that. There's our bead breaker. Ought to work really good. So on the next video that I make is when my tire needs changed. It actually don't need changed now. <clears throat> so I'm not going to take it off and go through that. But as soon as it needs changed, it probably won't be too many more miles. I'll put it on this machine and we'll break it down, change the tire on this, make a video and show how it works. So click the thumbs up. I'll put a link in the description to unit 
where you can check these out and get you one. But you may want to wait till I do the review of changing the tire, see if you like it. But catch y'all on the next one. Right on.